So I had to start my VR run over again because this would happen. Me and this guy were playing this this damn game. It was I think it was 10 innings and counting. And I already had shit to do that day. I was playing way longer than I should have been. So I should have already been off the game. I was sitting there like standing up playing, waiting for this game to end. And then as soon as the ninth rolled around, if I, w I was just saying if this game was going to go longer than nine innings, I would be leaving. So I did. I think I was four and one going into that game anyway. So it didn't really matter. It wasn't on a huge win streak or anything. So I did end up leaving that game, so that's, that BR squad is no longer, but it's alright because it's looking like this is going to be a good, this is looking like it's going to be a good team right out of the bat in this one. I was thinking maybe I should take this new Jorge Posada, but you know, 40 vision, that's probably not going to be an issue right away if you have him as your leadoff hitter or something, but if somebody brings in somebody crazy, then that will definitely be a problem. Has that power though? I definitely think the 92 Posada is way better than this one, but... You know, he has that power in this game plays a huge role in your overall, man. Like, if you, like, that 92 Posada is 10 times better, has way better vision. I think the fielding is the same. Even the contact versus righties is better on the 92 Posada. He just has, he has, what, 90-something power versus righties. And against lefties, it's all right, too. So that's pretty much why he is a 95 and the other Posada is a 92. But I am getting Kenley Jansen. Haven't even used him in this game yet, so this is going to be good, man. I'd rather use him over, you know, Wade Davis and just other relievers, other diamond relievers in this game. And he was one of my favorite relievers. to The flashback, Kenley Jansen, was one of my favorite uh, relievers to use in 16. So I'm glad he is going to be on the squad. And I also got the 94 Jackie Robinson, too. So... I was, I was kind of, you know, thinking whether or not I should have taken Posada because I kind of wanted to get a good offense. I want to get a good balance team, man. I'm not going bullpen heavy, offense heavy. I'm trying to get a good balance squad, but I am getting the Jackie Robinson, so it is all right. I did open up my compensation packs, too. So if you didn't uh, see yours yet or if you haven't been on the game uh, since you've seen this video or just haven't been on the game all day, definitely jump on, see if you got your 11,000 stubs and your 10 packs. I didn't get anything. No surprise, man. I mean, come on, let's be honest. They're not giving away diamonds. <laughs> They're not going to be giving away diamonds in these compensation packs. Let's all be honest with each other. And I think I pulled two silvers. I think I pulled Sergio Ramo. And who else did I get? I forget. I don't even remember. I think I pulled two silvers at the most. I pulled... I didn't even get a gold equipment item or anything. So I, I would have been lucky to make... A couple hundred stubs from those damn compensation packs, but it was expected, man. I didn't go, you know, into these packs opening them up thinking I was going to get somebody crazy. No chance in hell. I haven't pulled any, I haven't pulled really any good cards in standard packs yet. I did pull two diamonds in program packs, but you can't even sell those players you get in program packs. I got John Lester and Wade Davis. I mean, those are. Those are two of the cheapest diamonds in the game, so I wasn't even excited when I got them. I'm, I'm sitting here watching videos of people pulling Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, and all this BS, man. Where is where is my 98 overall plus or something? <laughs> you know what I mean, man? Like, everyone wants to get these diamonds who are going for a shitload of stubs, man. Nobody wants to get these diamonds going for around 20k because there are golds in this game that go for around the same. So I did pull, like, Starling Marte and Adrian Beltre. I think I pulled, those are only the two really good golds I pulled in this game, I think, and that was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that was that was a long time ago, actually, because I think I pulled Starling Marte, like, first week or so that this game came out, because I did finish the Pirates collection a couple weeks ago, and that's why I did finish the Pirates collection, because I was able to get Marte in a pack, and Adrian Beltre, I just ended up, I don't even remember what I did, I think I ended up selling him and then finishing another, another uh, collection. But yeah, I didn't get anything in these compensation packs, and yeah, you get 10 packs. It's not even a bundle, you just get the, you just get 10 standard packs and 11,000 stubs. So I guess if you want to spend the 11,000 stubs on packs, then you will get 20 packs. But I don't know, I don't even know how many bundles I've opened yet in this game, and I really, I don't know. I'm due for a diamond in some standard packs, man. I am due. Everybody is due. From what I'm hearing and just seeing in comments, man, I'm everybody is due for some diamonds in these standard packs. I mean, getting a diamond, unless it's unless it's Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, or somebody like that, like I was saying, in a program pack, then it's not even too exciting because you can't even sell them. So, I mean, John Lester, Wade Davis were the two diamonds I got. 
in those packs, but you know, I'm not really I'm not really feeling quick selling any diamonds at this point in time to make, you know, 10,000 stubs even though I'd only make around 40,000 stubs maybe or probably more than that if I did sell John Lester and Wade Davis if I was just able to sell them in general. So you guys saw this draft. It was all right. I got the 94 Jackie Robinson. I got Steve Finley batting second. The diamond Steve Finley. I actually had him in uh, 16. But he wasn't a diamond in that game. I think he was one of the last Conquest players I got. But I did all right with him when I did use him. I put Jackie Robinson at the top of the order trying to catch somebody's common on the mound. Which I did. But that was a terrible swing. I actually meant to check my swing right there. But I, I can't seem to get any damn luck on these check swings from what I'm seeing. And then Steve Finley is in. And that was also a terrible swing. But I did mean to swing right there. But I swung very late on a changeup pretty much right down the middle. So, yeah, I didn't get off to a good start in this game. But Beltron is up next. And he is sending one to right field. So that is a single. So now Hosmer is in. I had a bunch of lefties. In my lineup too. I think the only righty I had was Jackie Robinson. I had a couple switch hitters. And I, yeah, I actually drafted Beltron as one of the bench players. And I put him in for Calhoun, I think. But Calhoun's inside edge was down. Beltron's inside edge was down too. But I'd rather have a switch hitter in there. It seems like I've, did, I've been doing uh, very well with Beltron when I've been using him too. So he gets a base hit. Hosmer gets a base hit. So now Jose Reyes is up. Seems like I get him in every single BR I do. But I can't complain because I seem to do all right with him. But he is just sending a, a fly ball to center field. He makes that grab easily. So now Jansen, that beast, is coming out, man. He's not, he is not going to stay in the pen any longer. He is coming out of the pen. He is in, and he is here to dominate. This is going to be Jansen's squad, man. This is going to be, if I go far in this BR run, it will be because of Jansen. I also had, I think I had Strickland, and I'd, I, I didn't have any lefties, actually. I did not have a lefty in this. Uh, in this bullpen for this squad either, so that can maybe be a problem, but at the risk of getting verbally assaulted in the comment section, I don't really find lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchups do much for people who are good at the game anymore. I mean, every you know what I mean? Like, if you've been playing this game for a long time, chances are you do very well lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchups. You probably do the same with righty-on-lefty, lefty-on-lefty. I guess some people, yeah, it will make a difference. But if you're playing somebody very good at this game, it probably doesn't even matter if it's a lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchup. So, you know, maybe I can still go far in this BR run, even though I don't have any lefties. I didn't even get the chance to draft a lefty. I don't even think I ended up, you know, passing up on a lefty or something and then ended up regretting that decision. I didn't even get the chance to draft a lefty on this squad so we're just gonna have to try and go the distance without any lefties so wasn't able to get a base hit with Omar Vizquel I think that was to uh that, actually that was one down when he was up and then Colt how many times that happened man what how many times that happened when you'll just be jammed and they'll just be the weakest little fly in front of home plate like when the hell do you ever see that going on in real life but uh yeah Jansen is still in I actually thought that ball I didn't even think that ball bounced when I first saw it because I was playing the corners in it got to me so quick I didn't even know it bounced so that's why I delayed right there yes I'm an idiot I know some people probably sitting there damn this guy's a fucking idiot yeah I know I thought that ball bounced 100% that was a stupid decision on my or stupid mistake I made on my part so this guy's able to get somebody on base but I am throwing him out Trying to steal second, so it doesn't even matter that much because I am striking out the next guy coming to the plate. And this guy was, I don't know, it, it was kind of weird. He was one of those guys who wasn't really sitting on pitches, throwing sliders. He was on some of them, and then cutters, sinkers inside. He was on some of them too, but right there, I'm able to get the last K, the last out of this inning. So now Jackie Robinson is back up. Need to have a better at-bat in this time around than the previous at-bat because that one was ugly. Right there hitting a hard hit ball right to the shortstop. So Jackie Robinson is still held off the board in this game. But it's all right, man. Jackie Robinson is going to do some damage at some point in time. Steve Finley also had an, I had an ugly at bat with Steve Finley to begin this game too. So looking to redeem myself with him too. Now with two down in the top of the third inning. But that is just a hard hit ball to the second baseman too. So now we're going to the bottom of the third inning. This guy doesn't have a hit yet. And I was going into this inning too saying if this guy was going to get his first base hit, it was probably going to be a walk-off or something. But 
or, or something like that, man. A little blooper over the third baseman's head on an inside sinker late swing. But it's all right, man. You got to expect that shit to happen in this game, and then it won't even be an issue. So I'm getting this next guy to hit a weak chopper in front of the plate. Of course, he's going to try and catch me with my pants around my ankles. I'm getting him at third base. I knew that was going to happen. I actually was thinking about throwing the third base first because there was no there was no doubt in my mind this guy was going to go to third base at some point. So Beltron is leading things off in the fourth. I mean, come on. No chance. No chance I wanted this game to go any longer. There's no, there's nothing more annoying than these BR games. That, some people probably like playing these BR games that go, you know, 9, 10 innings. Me, not so much. I just get pissed off because I'm sitting here thinking this game should have been 10 minutes long and it ends up being an hour. But I was able to get the leadoff single with Beltron and then Hosmer is su Hosmer's such a beast, man. He is. I've, ever since I started using him at the beginning of this game, I've just been going off with Hosmer, man. Like, even when he was in the lineup... And every single time I was doing missions against the CPU and shit, Hosmer was just doing craze, craziness at the plate pretty much every single time. So I drive in another run. Not really sure what that guy was doing out there in the outfield, but I am going up 2-0 in this game. Colton Wong flies out above home plate to end the fourth. So now at the bottom of the fourth, and in this guy is not starting things off the way he planned, probably just a weak line drive to the second baseman. I think I had D Gordon in this game too. I think I drafted D Gordon off the bench, but I wanted to put him in for that speed and just get a lefty in. And then Barry Larkin, man, I'm not even sure what the hell Barry Larkin, what's what's Barry Larkin's deal because he only gets base hits on bad swings from what I've been seeing. So that's another mistake I make. I mean, ah. Oh, I was second guessing myself, didn't know whether or not I should try and turn two, and then I made a late decision, so he gets on base, and then he cashes in that run from that deep fly from Johnny Damon, so he is very close to tying this game up. I mean, Jansen was gassed. He, he, I had to put in a C check because, yeah, Jansen was gassed, but C check does his job, man. He comes in, strikes out the last guy he faces, so I was able to walk away with the W in this game. Thank God, man. It was... If this guy tied up this game and this game ended up going 10 innings or something, oh my, oh my god, that would have been annoying. But there is going to be another video posted after this one. I haven't posted two videos in a couple days, but the next video will be a ranked seasons game. As always, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. I will see everybody in that next video.